York, a big city with big appetites and some of the most critical eaters on Earth. Raw fish is all the rage, but this is New York, and if a restaurant wants to make its mark, it needs to have the finest, freshest, and tastiest ingredients in the world. So, how do they do it? 6 a.m., the Long Island coast. This boat looks like it could be a pleasure cruiser. But in fact, it's a serious fishing boat on the hunt for high-grade sushi. With health-conscious eaters all over the world chowing through more and more sushi every day, you might think the fish was caught by the ton. But veteran sushi fishermen like Mike Jacobs claims the best quality sushi fish cannot be caught in nets. Instead, Mike and his crew use $500 state-of-the-art carbon fiber rods and reels to catch every fish one by one. Gentle. Don't hit the side of the boat. Nothing. No nice marks. Fish. No right, marks. All right. Beautiful. Better than ever. With normal fishing, the catch thrash about in the net, damaging the skin and flesh. And when they die, the blood is left inside, affecting the delicate taste of the fish. Mike uses the Japanese ikijimi method to make what he calls a fresh kill, a single incision to the hind brain that kills the fish but doesn't immediately stop the heart from pumping. He then makes another incision in the tail to let the blood drain out. All this is the blood coming out of the fish. Now, from any fine sushi restaurant, they don't want their customers eating this. Yeah. A trawler crew landing over two tons of fish in a single catch couldn't possibly bleed them like this. This level of care is only possible when fish are caught and fresh killed individually. And that's why sushi fish like this cost thousands of dollars each. We don't do one thing 100% better than anybody else, but we do 100 things 1% better. That's the key to true quality. But sushi fishermen like Mike don't sell direct to restaurants. These high-priced fish are destined for a giant fish market in the Big Apple. This is no family fishmonger. The new Fulton Fish Market covers nearly 400,000 square feet of the Bronx. Hey, how are you, sir? Known as the New York Stock Exchange of Seafood, it's the oldest fish market in the USA. 5% of America's fish comes through this building, and annual sales exceed $1 billion. From minnows to mackerel, they sell 300 varieties of fish from as far away as Japan, Alaska, and Greece. This is a specialist market. The customers are connoisseurs. Nobu Ishida buys for many of New York's top sushi restaurants. And when it comes to fish, there is no one with a better eye than Nobu. Not good. Maybe today I'll look at the tail. Yeah. Or tuna. A single southern bluefin tuna can fetch as much as $40,000. And for $40,000, it had better be good. <laughs> Having bought Mike's fish for an undisclosed sum, Mr. Ishida takes it to New York's East Side District and the legendary restaurant Sushi Yasuda, home of a sushi master, Naomichi Yasuda. Yasuda prepares some of the best sushi in town. First challenge is to turn whole, fresh fish into perfectly proportioned pieces the size of a single mouthful. But this is no problem for these disciples of the blade. Yasuda's team are masters of sushi preparation. They make quick work of the heads, tails, skin, and scales. You probably think that sushi fish has got to be really fresh and prepared immediately. But that's where you'd be wrong. According to Master Yasuda, much of the fish we eat as sushi sits for days before it is ready to be served. This one, it's already three days old. This is meant to relax the flesh and make it more tender. Also, uh, this is a three days old. Tuna doesn't reach its peak until four days after capture. And Yasuda is an expert at knowing when fish is just right. When you're paying $4 per mouthful of raw fish, 
You'd hope it wasn't something they just dragged out of the freezer. But actually, much of the fish we eat as sushi has to be frozen first to kill off any dangerous parasites. The problem is, fish doesn't retain color and flavor for long in an ordinary freezer. Yasuda's freezer is anything but ordinary. It runs at minus 106 degrees Fahrenheit, more than 70 degrees colder than your freezer at home. At this temperature, the fish doesn't deteriorate at all. When it's thawed, it will be as fresh as the moment it went in. It doesn't change the color. With a preservation life of three years, Mr. Yasuda can ensure that whatever the season, New Yorkers get the best and the safest sushi. And when it comes to the master's creations, New Yorkers can't get enough. <laughs> 